What's up everybody? Welcome back to the video. Thank you so much for clicking on it today. Today I'm gonna try to do a PR. I'm here at the Canal Loop in Land Between the Lakes in Western Kentucky, and the Canal Loop is pretty much my home trail. It's really where I started riding my bike, and any mountain biker in this area who really cares about their fitness on the mountain bike, they really start to focus on their loop time. And generally, your goal starts out with just getting a sub-hour loop, and a couple years ago, I mean, that's why I rode. Every time I came out here, I was trying to improve my loop time, trying to find better lines, get faster, get that sub hour. And then I finally got it and I moved on and started focusing on different goals. In the past couple of years, I've really focused on endurance and I haven't cared what my single lap loop time has been. But with everything going on with the pandemic and not having any races, I've been looking for new challenges to do. Last week I did Rebecca Rush's Giddy Up Challenge where I did the twice baked potato and climbed 10,000 foot. And I did that by repeating 14 laps of Williams Hill in Southern Illinois. So focusing on the single lap time is just kind of a fun challenge for me to do just to keep me busy with nothing going on figured it would be fun since it's something that I haven't done in quite some time. My PR is 55 minutes and four seconds. So I'm hoping to improve on that today. I don't know if it'll be possible. There's a lot of people here at the North Welcome Station. So that means there's gonna be a lot of traffic on the trail. I'm gonna eat this banana, not on camera, cause I'm not a psycho. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of warm up. We're gonna switch over to the GoPros. All right, guys, I figured I would put a little bit of commentary in this video just to give you some more information about what I was trying to achieve today. I just honestly wanted to head out on my bike and pretty much just hammer this loop, this segment, because like I mentioned, this is kind of like the testing grounds that pretty much all mountain bikers go through in the area where I live. And it's not really about how you place with other people. It's pretty much like a time trial where it's something that you're always trying to improve and compare your previous time with your current time. And it just kind of gives you an idea of where you rank. Now with this being a mountain bike trail, there are factors that do change what your time in, ends up being. And what I mean by that is really trail maintenance. Sometimes people come through and they fix sections that may save you like 10 seconds in a corner or something like that. So that's something that you have to consider as well. Basically comparing my time now versus like five years ago, the trail may be slightly different, but you just kind of take that with a grain of salt and it doesn't really matter. But like I said, my real focus of this effort was to give myself another challenge to have right now during this crazy time where there's not really any races. Now I have started to see some races opening up in other states. I know that this weekend there's actually going to be a race in Indiana, which is still like four and a half hours away from me. So I actually won't be going to that. Come on, legs, wake up. Ah, snake! Oh, we're good. We are good. All right. Well, snake got a PR. Now I got to get one. So maybe in the next month or so there'll be an actual race who knows <laughs> but to talk a little bit about this effort the first part of the trail this first half we call the Berkeley side because it's on the Berkeley side of the lake and as you can tell from the elevation chart at the top there's not nearly as many climbs on this side so you kind of hit it as hard as you can but you have to consider that the second half is the Kentucky side of the loop because it's on the Kentucky Lake it's where all the hills are. So if you pretty much go too hard on this side and blow up, you'll have nothing left for the Kentucky side. But honestly, I wasn't too worried about that because my limiting factor on the Berkeley side of the trail is generally that I'm not fast enough through the corners and stuff like that. So I kind of have like a limiter built in and with there not being a lot of hills, it kind of keeps me throttled back anyways. But something I did notice is that my legs never did feel good. They hurt the entire time. I don't know if that's like part of the single, the single hard effort. Like, yeah, they're going to hurt the entire time. Generally, when I do endurance races, they feel good and then they hurt. You know, like there is a period of time where I don't feel like 
like I'm dying in my legs, but I felt like that this entire loop. This was the last day of my recovery week and I always do feel drained during a recovery week. I feel so much more tired, even though I'm doing quite a bit less work. So I'm just gonna show you guys a couple of clips from the trail. I don't wanna bore you too much with the GoPro footage, but I was trying to do a couple new things with wearing the camera on the chest, having a camera facing me, just trying to give you guys some interesting content. And I do apologize for the wind noise. I will be working to correct that, of course. But uh, towards the end, I was thinking about all the people I had ridden with over the years. The thing about the loop is that you'll ride with people who may be faster than you, but they'll ride your pace and they'll push you and that has i've gotten prs in the past just because of that exact reason in the past couple of years i've kind of done the same thing for people i've tried to push them knowing that i could ride faster but staying with them to help motivate them so towards the end i just thought about all the people i'd ridden with over the years who have helped me get to this point and not only that but i started i started actually talking to myself and uh coaching myself and pushing myself and I was basically saying the things that I knew that one of those people would be saying to me and it's really cool to have such a cool great community like I said it's really cool I don't mean to get so sappy but anyways I'm gonna end the commentary here and let you guys hear a couple of the clips of me trying to push myself We're fine. push it push it push it push hard Come on, harder. I'm just full blown. I'm gonna talk to myself, cheer myself on. I made a lot of mistakes back there. Can't do that anymore. I'm losing time because my legs are tired. Ow, I just kicked a root. All right. Come on, focus. All right, last climb. Let's put it all out there. PR it. Give it everything. This climb. This loop. This PR. We're doing it. Stupid cheater line, either. Come on, baby, push, push. There you go. Keep pushing, keep going to the top. just finished the Garmin lap timer said less than 52 minutes so that could be a three minute PR we'll have to see the official Strava segment but I'm gonna spin around and do a significant cool down I need to ride in 30 more minutes so I'm gonna do that and then we'll save the ride and see the data just finished up the ride and the lap time my GoPro is just losing its mind over there just finished the ride and the lap time on my Garmin said 51.23 but I don't have service here so we're gonna have to drive away and uh, see what the official Strava time is. is experienced the same, is experiencing sort of a similar trajectory. Yeah, hey, uh, post ride as you saw in early Yeah, and just the fact that gravel can be the range of, of rider. So sour candy. All right, everybody, I have made it back home and my Strava has successfully updated. The segment in question is this one called the Canal Loop from the North Welcome Station. That was the direction I was riding. Now, it's 
the time's a little bit faster than what I said my Garmin lap time was because the segment itself does not include the time in the parking lot. So my official segment time is 50 minutes and 46 seconds. That absolutely just blows my mind. I expected to get a 52 something. Like I said, my PR was a 5504. So you're talking over four minutes faster than last year. So that's pretty epic, pretty cool. It's funny because all I can do is think about all the people who have ridden with me and pushed me over the years at that loop, at that segment. So now what I'm gonna have to do is I'm so close to 49, I'm less than a minute from 49 minutes. That's gonna be the challenge now is trying to get it down to 49, do a sub 50. I think I can do it. I think I made some mistakes that I could definitely correct and just probably riding the mountain bike more will definitely help it. So kind of like I said, this is how I'm staying sane in quarantine and motivated and all that fun stuff. What fun challenges are you guys doing? Let me know down in the comments below. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, make sure you hit the thumbs up and let me know that you did. I'll see you in the next one.